Hi guys, today in this video, I will be making a simple and powerful spot welder machine using some MOSFETs and 555 timer IC. In this circuit I have used 6 pieces of powerful IRLB4132 MOSFETs that can give up to 600 amperes of pulse current. This circuit is simply controlled by this 555 timer IC and each time this button is pressed, it triggers the IC and passes positive signal to output pin 3 that is connected to gate of MOSFETs. So. MOSFETs get triggered and passes high current short for 10 milliseconds to the probes. For easy assembly I converted the schematics into the PCB. And the PCB is going to be look like this. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB files, link us in video description. In order to manufacture this PCB, visit jlcpcb.com. And here you can add the Gerber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and the color of PCBs as per your requirements. And then save to cart for checkout. Within some days I got my order from JLC PCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing and 5 pieces as for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Now pre-solder all the MOSFET pads. I used IRLB4132 high current MOSFETs. Trim the middle pin of MOSFET, since it is internally connected with MOSFET body. Now solder all the MOSFETs at its places. Use a copper wire to make traces capable for high current tolerance. And do a thick layer of soldering on source and drain traces of MOSFETs. You can use 3mm nut bolts to secure all the MOSFET at its place. Now take a triple 5 timer IC and place it in IC base. I used 6mm of copper cable for welding probes and used 1mm enamel copper wire for making prop tips and added 8mm thimbles to another end. For battery, I used same 6mm cable and added alligator clips and 8mm thimbles. Now it is time to connect cables with this PCB. Connect battery positive and welding probes positive here and secure with a nut bolt. Connect battery negative here. And connect welding probes negative over here. Now we need this type of cable with two wires inside. Also we need a push button. Cut the one side pins of button. Now solder two wires with push button. On positive welding probe, place the push button and secure it with the 8mm heat shrink tube. Check the push button to make sure if it is free to press. Connect the wires at its place, marked with BT1. Now finally our spot welder is ready to test. We just need a 30 ampere to 100 ampere battery or you can also use 12 volt lithium batteries as they provide high discharge current. As you can see, on each press LED gives milliseconds of blink, sometimes camera doesn't capture it. 
Now let's try to weld on 18650 lithium batteries. As you can see the welding spots done by this spot welder is very strong and cannot break. Now let's test on another battery. As you can see this spot welder can do strong welding and this is very affordable than expensive spot welders. So, if you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.